Well hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. I'm sure you've all been uh, dying to see another video of the old International here with the 238 Detroit in it. With the 400 Cummins Turbo on it. That seemed to raise quite a bit of interest. So I'm going to do a couple things to this that I've been wanting to address for a while. We'll bring you over here and show you what needs to be done and uh, we'll go from there. This thing's been running pretty good. Been running real good. Haven't had a lick of trouble with anything. So, um, yeah, I know I promised everybody a follow-up video here. And uh, hopefully we'll be getting to that soon. I've just been extremely busy with things and, and all that. Um, so, yeah, I apologize. But it's, it's coming eventually here. Just bear with me. Anyway... This truck is a pretty solid truck, and there's not much rust on it at all. Actually, there's like no rust on it um, until you open the door, which the door itself is, I mean, freaking cherry. The paint's still on there. It's just oil I sprayed on there, but the rocker is pretty toasted, um, which is crazy. I mean, well, it ain't crazy. I mean, the truck is, uh, what, 52 years old. Up under here, the cab corner is super solid, so it's just this spot on both sides. The driver's side isn't nearly as bad. The driver's side only has a small hole like that big. But this side's worse, and I've been wanting to address this for a while and get the door jam uh, fixed because that just looks like shit when you open the door. And this is a cool old truck, and I'd like to preserve it and keep it going for uh, at least my lifetime. So what I have here is just a metal plate off of a furnace I used to have. And it's actually got the perfect lip on the bottom. This lip right here will go underneath like that on this lip. And then I'll kind of splice it in somewheres up here. So I'm going to start by cutting this old crap out and then cutting into the new piece of metal and then kind of splicing it in there and seeing what I can come up with. And I'm going to put a lot of that on time lapse so you don't have to listen to me babble for three hours in between every step. So let's uh, put this camera up on the tripod and get started. Thank you. 
All right, I got this piece pretty well finished up here. Um, I got it welded up good enough. This ain't no show truck. I just want it to be solid uh, more than uh, looking good, I guess. I mean, I want it to look good, but it's a freaking door jam, so good enough. I wish I had a shop uh, big enough to completely restore this truck and do it right, because this is a cool truck, but anyway. So this here was all rotted. And uh, so I just made this piece here, and I got it so it fits in there pretty good. And I have to kind of put it in place, weld it up. And, uh, well, oh. this whole floor is pretty much shot, but at least it ain't through yet. And there's a hole here. It's not a rot hole. It's like a something went through it when it was a plow truck. So I just made that to go over that, and uh, that should pretty much take care of the inside of this thing for the time being. Um, I'm not going to film myself welding this because you already seen me weld this and uh, this is a pretty small cab and there's not really a lot of room in here for my camera so um, I'm going to get back with you when this is welded up and uh, about to sink it and we'll go on to the next step. So here it is about to sink it later just like I told you. I'm quick huh? I got this thing all welded in. It came out pretty good, actually. I still got some more issues up front here, but I'm not going to worry about that right now. Um, it's not super important. I got that hole done, and I got that welded up all nice and buttoned together and everything. So, And then yesterday, yesterday uh, when it got dark, I turned the light on out here, and I made that piece because this was all rotted in here. And... It's all solid now, so um, I'm not going to go crazy with this thing. Normally I'd Dura Glass and Bondo that and make this all nice and smooth and pull these bolts off, but you know what? It's a work truck, so uh, I'm just going to go ahead and scuff it up and paint right over it. And um, If I want to do it nice down the road, then I can do that, but for right now it's a work truck, work truck slash toy truck, so uh, it's not super important to me right now. So. I'm going to go ahead and spray some etch primer on these welds and uh, I kind of got a little bit of a surprise coming up here and uh, we'll get to that after I get the etch primer on here. Alright, for in here for now I'm just going to spray some of this black on it. You know, the straw thing inside this can fell off, so the only way it sprays is upside down, which is kind of a pain in the ass. All right, we'll let this sit for a minute, and then uh, we'll get to the next step here. So stay tuned for that surprise I keep talking about.
I got two coats of primer on this thing and it looks awesome looks really good so I got the primer scuffed and uh, blown off it's about an hour after I primered it and uh, we're getting ready to put some base coat on it so let's get to that all right so here's the surprise I keep talking about this trucks actually gonna be getting a new paint job not now, not for a few months, probably not until next year, but I do have the color picked out and that's what color I'm gonna paint the door jam. And the color is this right here, this orange crush. You can't really see it that good because the sun's not out today, but this is a really nice color. It's almost like the color I painted my 62 Peterbilt, except it's orange. So I'm going to keep the truck orange, but it's going to be this color. So um, let's go ahead and lay this paint down on the door jam and see what it looks like. I can't wait to see it. All right, you can't really see the effect yet. Let me bring you closer. That's only the first coat, obviously. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, let this tack up and I'm gonna put probably one or two more coats on it. And then we'll get back when it's time for clear coat. All right, I got that orange uh, crush base coat laid on this thing. It looks really good even though the sun's going down and it's getting dark. It came out pretty good except a couple spots. I got a pretty major problem right here in the door jam. I got some kind of reaction going on. But um, I ain't got time to mess with it right now because it's getting dark and it's supposed to rain tomorrow and I'm running way behind schedule and I have to get this thing done tonight. So I'm gonna bury that thing with clear and uh, I'm gonna exhume it at another <clears throat> later date when I have uh, the doors off and I'm painting the rest of the truck so for right now it's getting buried and it is what it is but the main part the most important part that you see came out pretty good it's just this part over here where the here's a door so you can see what's going on the door shuts in there so you know what that's the best uh, if it's gonna happen that's the best place for it to happen so let's get some clear put on this thing and make it really pop Well, there's a second coat of clear on this thing. Did two coats. That reaction uh, didn't really get any worse, but um, like I said, luckily it's on the front part where you nobody will ever notice it anyway. So, um, oh well, that's just the way it goes. Other than that, it came out great. My outside light finally kicked on and that really sets that color off good. This truck is gonna look awesome that color. And this just plain orange. See the um. I gotta build a hood for it yet. My plan for this truck eventually is to take this axle and move it forward, 
and then put two Peterbilt like round fenders on it and then the headlights coming off of this just like a Peterbilt would be. Bring you over here and show you my 62 Peterbilt pretty much a setup like this. I want to put two round fenders on it like that and put headlights on it like that but I'll have to do a lot of messing around to get the axle moved forward and hook up all the steering components and move the steering box and all that. So that'll be a while yet. I bet you the thing will handle a lot better too once I do that. There's so much overhang on this thing like the end of the motor is like right here. Actually where the transmission and the motor bolt together is just about in line with the axle. I don't know if you can see it under here. Yeah, not really. It's just too dark. But I guess you'll have to take my word for it. Yeah, like where the motor and transmission bolt together is right about here. So that's a lot of weight on the front of that, you know, on this front axle here. And when you go around corners empty, you can feel the weight pretty good. Once the back of it's loaded, it rides pretty good. But anyway, back to the task at hand. So, yeah, this came out pretty good. Um, had a couple runs just because I laid it right in these corners right here, and it's a door jam. I mean, the first time somebody gets in here and steps on it, it's going to get all scratched up and beat right to hell. So, all right, guys, I'm going to end this video here, and um, I'm going to do the other door jam exactly the same way as I did this one. Uh the other one's not as bad as this one, but I'm sure once I get into it, it's I'm going to find a lot more than I expected to, just like on this one. Once I took my needle scaler to it and started taking the rust away, it uncovered a lot, just like anything. You sandblast it, and nothing's ever as good as you think it is. Just remember that. So I'd say this came out really good for what it is. I'm super happy with it. So... I'm not sure what I'm going to do to this truck next. Probably not a whole lot. Probably just some mods and ends mechanical stuff. And that's about it because uh, winter's coming and I don't really want to get into a huge project. But yeah, like I said, I'm probably going to be painting this truck next year this color. But I'm going to build a hood first and get everything else. Not necessarily move the axle forward, but I'm going to at least build a hood first and get the body looking nice and then I'm gonna paint the whole truck this color and I think that's gonna look super great so stay tuned and don't miss that probably it'll be April or May or something like that I'm hoping by the time I get to that but no promises as usual it's just the way it goes so yeah I'll keep everyone updated on what's next on this thing whatever that is just like the other truck I just kind of spur of the moment get a thing. I wasn't even going to do this this year. I just got a wild hair up my ass and decided, well, I'm just going to start doing it. One thing led to another, and I did it. So it looks good for the millionth time. So thanks, everybody, for watching. And uh, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of these awesome projects that I'm working on here. And uh, hit that notification bell so you get updates every time I post another video of this kind of stuff so you don't miss it and make sure you like and and all that fun jazz so until next time thanks for watching and take care